March the 23rd, 2024. Guys, they've got some modeling up for this coronal mass ejection that left the sun during the X flare. Let's play this thing through, and I'll stop it at the impact point. You're about to see it leave the sun as it expands out there. And right there, you're looking at about 1 o'clock on the 25th to Mars the 24th. So 1 o'clock UTC time, come back about 5 hours, and you're going to be about 8 p.m. again on the East Coast as this thing strikes right there. Play it through. It's going to take it a little while to pass, and it clears back out. So tomorrow night on the 24th around 8 p.m. Now remember, they have a plus or minus 7 hours uh, window. And that is because they're trying to determine the exact speed. But you, when you have muscle velocity coming off the sun, that's going to slow before it moves 93, mile, or 93 million miles to the Earth. Now let's go to Alaska C2. It's Earth-facing images. You have the occulter disk over the sun, so now we can see the outside edges. Notice we're at the 22nd. We're about to move into the 23rd here. Very powerful, full halo CME. Now notice all the speckles on the screen, those are called energized particles. They are moving at the earth. You see that when, with very strong flares, especially with a full halo. In other words, everything's coming from every direction and you've got these energized particles, protons, photons, the whole nine yards blowing out at the earth right there. So again, tomorrow night around 8 p.m. as far as the center of the window, we'll see. They've been a little off on the modeling the last few times. But we need to watch this one. It's very powerful. And watch for uh, pressure on our tectonic plates and for earthquakes. We're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.